get all these grots. Oh, there they went. The grots tend to hang out here in, in the, uh, I don't even know what to call this. Oh, this is just the coop part of our rabbit colony. This was originally a chicken coop and we're using it for a rabbit colony. But anyway, the grow outs like to hang out in here. As you can see, we've got plenty of grow outs. We've been planning to use, utilize rabbit tractors. And so today I'm gonna to build a rabbit tractor. Hey little fellas. That's Mama, our oldest female rabbit that we breed. And one of the recent babies, we call them grow outs. Back over there is Carrot on the right. She's another mama we breed. And Lincoln, our buck. Purebred Rex. Got a beautiful thick coat that we like from the Rex. Mama is a conglomerate of a Rex and some kind of lion head. And I believe Carrot is also <clears throat> some kind of mix, but I'm not sure what kind. You can see the uh, orange fur mixed in there with her. But uh, these are our two breeding mothers. Oh, here comes another little guy. <laughs> I love it when they stand up on their back legs. I think it's cute. But our, our colony here just, it's just not big enough for this many rabbits. So we gotta do something about that. Mama. I've been avoiding rabbit tractors for a while because it seems like everybody does them. And I just, there's part of me that's like, oh, I don't, just because everyone's doing it doesn't mean it's the best way, right way, or the wrong way, but I don't know. I can see out here where we are now with all the grass growing everywhere, space for them now, especially where we have green grasses all year long, it looks like. I can see how beneficial it could be for us. So what I'm going to do is build a rabbit tractor. I've looked at multiple ideas. There's plenty of them out there on YouTube. Some criteria for what I wanted to do. I wanted it to be, I didn't want it to be too big and therefore hard to manage, hard for the kids to manage. Uh, but it, I don't want to be tiny and have to build a bunch of them. And then I'm going to build it out of two by two lumber. I went and purchased a bunch. Hindsight, I think I should have just Bought a bunch of two by fours and ripped them down, but two by two lumber, keep it light, keep it simple. And then corrugated plastic for the roofing. And this is kind of, I'm gonna be building this, you know, from this idea in my brain and uh, I'm sure there'll be uh, improvements that I can make along the way. All right, let me give you a visual of what's in my brain. Like I was saying, my ideas came from other people, but most of them came from this channel, Lorella, Plan B, Orchard and Farm. You can find them on YouTube. They're another channel that's out here, or homestead that's out here in Missouri. So, uh, but eight feet wide, or long, excuse me, eight feet long, four feet wide, two feet high. And then back here, in this section, we're gonna have a raised platform, and it will be fully enclosed on all the sides so that the rabbits can get in here and they can hide in the front of it, the front section of it too. So there'll just be a little doorway for them to get in there, if that makes any sense. Get in there and hide from predators or whatever. The sides will be covered in hardware cloth. I'm, I, uh, probably gonna be about half inch squares. And then the bottom's gonna be mm, possibly two by two inch by four inch uh, welded wire fencing. 
so the grasses can grow up through. They can eat the grass, and we'll just drag this thing uh, six feet every day. So this section right here will be about six feet wide. <clears throat> yeah, and hopefully keep it light enough, strong enough that kids can move it, and there'll be handles on this end that they just grab and pick up and drag. Uh, I've seen some people put wheels. I don't think I'm going to put wheels, but we'll see. And then this is a lid that's going to be propped up somehow. I haven't figured out how yet. I did like the way that these guys did it, um, so I might copy that. What do you think? Should we get rid of these annoying little teenagers you got running around? Give you guys more space? I think you'll appreciate that. I don't know how many of you like to listen to tunes while you work, but I do. I've got this Bluetooth speaker set up so that I can jam out, so whatever. I'm not uh, devoted to any one genre of music. I like whatever sounds good right now. Got some country going. I usually have a playlist of my favorites that I shuffle through. This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my show you why I shouldn't have got these um, two by twos. I should have just got two by fours and ripped them down. The quality of the two by twos as I was picking them out is horrible and I tried to find the best ones but here let me just show you. There's quite a bit of bow in a lot of them. I mean that should lay flat. They're twisted. You can see my joint right there. It's kind of out of whack. I mean just look at that. So much twist in those things. They're just horrible quality. I just thought I'd save myself some time and by not having to rip them down, but man. Live and learn. One big thing that I did, I added all these braces to the corners. And that really firmed it up and gave it some rigidity and strength. <clears throat> Since it is just a lightweight framing, this is one of the other things I got from Lorella and their design, adding that support brace that comes down, it's on a hinge. <clears throat> and then when you pull it up, it kind of just falls out. And boom props it up for you I'm trying to make this as easy as I can on the kids because they're you know their chores are gonna be a big part of this <clears throat> and if there's one thing that Trish and I have learned the easier you can make it on yourself and your kids the more likely they're gonna follow through with everything and um, and yeah so just make it easier on yourself in any way you can and a lot of knowing what to do to make things easier comes with time and as you do things and work through things you realize the little things that are going to make your life a little bit easier the next time but the roof i've really uh i'm struggling with the roof i'd like to have it have a pitch to it so that the rain runs off better and i've thought about doing 
some rain catchment solutions for their watering but then it gets a little bit complicated and that's more weight and I haven't decided if that's what I really want to do so for now I'm not going to do that I think it'd be easy enough to come back later and add a slant to the roof or something like that and maybe on my next build because this is the first of two that I plan to build for now uh, maybe on the next build we can add a, a pitch to the roof or something like that I've also thought about you know a proper pitch where it's peaked in the middle not just a kind of a slant and that feels a little excessive but at the same time I don't know, why not make your stuff look pretty if you can it's not gonna add a lot of expense and it might just be fun to do fun project and to figure that out and figure out how to do that and make it work but for now this is what we're gonna do all right so let's see how this um roofing material is going to lay out and uh, hopefully it'll be enough. I'm a little bit concerned because I want there to be a little bit of a lip or overhang on all sides and I don't think there will be because I made the structure exactly eight feet. These are eight feet. I should have thought I had and done like, you know, seven foot, 10 inches or something like that. Give me an inch overhang on each side, but whatever. This is our first design, so. Oh well. I'll have an overhang on these sides, but as far as the front to back, not really. That attached, that wasn't too bad. I'm okay with the way that looks. It's not too shabby. I still think it would be nice with a pitched roof of some kind, but yeah, for now, that's good. All right, let me show you another mistake that I've made in design. So I wanted it to be eight foot by four foot by two foot high. When I cut these, I cut these to 24 inches, two feet. Well, I didn't think about the inch and a half of each of these boards, top and bottom. So now it's greater than two feet. This is two feet, this span right in between. And that's a problem because when you buy material like the fencing, you get like, look, this hardware cloth, 24 inches by 10 feet, 24 inches wide, top to bottom. <laughs> It pretty much fits right inside there, but I don't have anything to attach. See, I needed it to be that tall for what I've built. Well, they don't sell custom lengths like that. I can buy this in two feet or 36 inches wide or, or you know, taller than that. So now what do I do? Do I go around and I take apart all of these vertical pieces, unscrew them all, take them over and cut them down? Or do I cut additional pieces which would add additional weight you know and go around the border i think the uh, best way to do this would be to, to take those apart cut them down and then put it back together which is going to be a lot of work i just didn't think think it through that's a problem i have with a lot of things i do that's okay so we'll start taking it apart so i've been sitting here thinking Staring at this dumb thing, beating myself up that I screwed up, but I've got to drop the the height of it all by three inches, roughly. I don't want to go around and undo all the screws. It's just going to take a lot of time. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to detach the top part of it only. That'll leave all the vertical pieces attached to the bottom, and that's half the screws or more that I'll have to take off. And then I'll run around with a circular saw and, and, and cut each one and one down. I think that's the best way forward. Give me five. We get it back to its former glory. A little bit shorter. So now, let's stack this up. Look at that. Our hardware cloth fits. We can attach it at the bottom and the top. And then we've got this fencing stuff to go along the bottom. Hey, sweetie. Are you okay? Yeah. 
do this. Whoop, oh, did you drop him? Right out one. Alright, we're gonna put this. Alright, Sarah, I need a screw. Thank you. I'll go on the side though. I don't like that these didn't come with this their own screws. Yeah. Yeah. But, See if you can latch that. Me? Sam. Is it too hard? No. Is that too hard to? No. Now, we just gotta put handles on it so we can drag it. All right. Oh, you can drag that? I don't know. Drag it. Pull. Can't let me try. All right, you try. Both of you try together. No, no, I'll okay, try. Okay, you try alone. <laughs> All right, you need help. You lift on this handle and Sam lifts on the other one. This one? Yeah. Is lift up, pull. Pull like horses. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I okay. Can't. All right. It needs up. wheels. So this, and then you can put them through the top. See? Okay, okay Sarah, but you're not going to be able to help, and I'm really sorry. Barely seven. Yeah. <laughs> there's eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then there's one in the colony. Yeah, we got, got some scratches mm, too. We should have wore gloves. Why didn't we think about that? Okay, now we got 11 in there almost. We've got 10 in there, this one will be 11. They're a good size. Yes. Okay, open. You guys will be excited. Okay, there's 11 pennies in there. I don't know if I can fix that. Oh, Shut come on. on. It's. Oh, well, careful, let's hold the sides. The, the lid is like I, bowing. I told you. Yeah, yeah. we got 11. They're coming. And then there's one more in the colony. We well we thought we had twelve, maybe thirteen. We weren't quite sure. Wow, that is Hold heavy. Hold the bottom too. Sarah, get in and then have and then open it up. And one, and two, and three. You can release the rabbits. <laughs> they don't want to come out. <laughs> Good job. Ah. Oh, you okay? You okay? Not too bad, huh? Oh. Sarah, we both got, I got some too. <laughs> Let's see, Sam. Don't step Yikes. on them. Yikes. Oh, they're still so cute. Okay, they're like, I can't believe we have two over here. I like just like, that is just work up. Yeah, that's cute. They're just, it's like one of Let's see what happens. Show me. Oh, barely, sweetheart. Sorry, I know. You see barely. You see yours? You'll be okay. Thanks for being brave. Really cute. This one's like one flop and one not. All right, you young rabbits. Get to work. Fertilize, eat, chomp, chomp, chomp. and grow. And get fat. Get fat. Preferably <laughs> uh, muscle, muscle fat. <laughs> <laughs> Missy, look at this bunny. I like this one. Missy, look at Do you this. like this one? I like the gray one. I think two tractors will be better. This is a little crowded for what I think it should be. I think they'll eat through that grass relatively quick every day. Yeah. I think a couple tractors would be great. We may even need three or four, depending on how the babies rotate. Yeah, that's true. So our next project after we build the next, the other tractor is to raise the roof on this thing probably at least two more feet that's about three feet right there so another two feet maybe three feet so that you could stand up when you go in that would be so nice and uh yeah make it a little easier to get in and out of there and put a proper roof on this half of it and a rain gutter to catch the water so we don't have burrows that fill with water you see any of them eating anything yet yeah i've had a few ones 
Oh, there's one chewing. Yep, two. That, that one like, looks a lot like Lydia. Uh, I, don't, I don't care how scary this is. I'm, I'm hungry. This has got stuff. There's a lot of clover in there. Yeah, it's basically all clover. And here's some... And we won't have to pick for these. That is the cutest rabbit pile ever. I just, I said <laughs> that. Doesn't that look comfy? Can you imagine just coloring to these soft, fuzzy, warm things and you're like, oh, yeah, this is Yeah, if nice. they were like dogs and they just snuggled with you every night. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Oh, bunny. A literal yeah. dog pile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that or was rabbit funny. pile. Yeah. I like that one. It's a pile of rabbits. This way? Yeah. But I also yeah, like that, that one, one that's got a Ears both down. That looks really cute. Yeah. That one? Yeah. Or this one? This one is so cute. But this one. But really heavy. This one's like super chill. And that. And when it wants to go out, you just. All right, guys. <clears throat> just a couple more minutes, then we'll get out and let them uh, relax for a bit. Can you help her latch it. Oh, no, brother. Right. Is it hard? It is a bit hard, but it's not bad. Okay. Good not work, bad. babe. Thanks. Lincoln's like, where's everybody? <laughs> so the plan is once they reach about six weeks of age, we will put them in the rabbit yeah, tractors to grow bottom. out until about, when do we process? 16-ish weeks. Um, 14 to 16? Yeah, 14 to 16. And then um, depending on how many litters, we'll have to decide how many tractors we're gonna need. I know he's got at least one more coming, so that's awesome. But we believe this will be a, a better way. The colony that we have now is not big enough to handle a million rabbits, and we're utilizing the free vegetation. So, yeah. Thanks for joining us today here on our crazy adventure. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>